When you're making each line, it very much depended on the material you were using, like how you made the line. So I got much more into the materiality of like each thing that I use. Like each leaf was kind of different as well. So it's not like all leaves are the same. Um, and like, for example, the acorns took ages to pick up because they're so small, but then went down really quickly. I just like the contrast of having something bright in you know, in these trees because it just it seemed really to stand out. I think it, it feeds off a nature-based practice that I have where I do collect natural objects and then release them with a, 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 an internal releasing. And so some of the objects in the club collection they read the last how many days I've been here. And as I was putting them in, there were memories of the feelings and picking those objects up. And some of those were after a practice out there and then just noticing something and taking it with me. So there was a really beautiful process of remembering moments so you'd have stayed. I started this... Well, the other day when we went out into... There was some day when it was the... I don't know what it was the elm, because I don't know what it was. It was just my time free and I found there's an oak tree deep right at huge one right in there um, and I was making that it was lots of zigzag zigzag zig and it was very windy that day wasn't it and there's a day when it is really windy and I was getting showered off by it I thought what was actually going on and it was coming close to me so but I definitely want to have these acorns and the, the experience of the wind model and the movement was very strong so I made a resolve I'm going back to get some acorns because there were so many of them underfoot that fell. <laughs> 